Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new Pennywise podcast from Lee Enterprises. I'm your host, Terry Barr. I'm really happy to have you along with us again today. Have to uh, consider this right now because of rising prices and everything we're dealing with in the economy. How about this? A quarter, one quarter of us say we are putting off plans to try to tackle our debt right now. So what could this mean for you? And is this also something you're thinking about? Well, we would love to welcome in Melissa Lamborina. She is a credit card expert for Nerd Wallet, And uh, we're going to walk through some ideas and some tips to try to get you past putting off your debt planning. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for being here. Hi, Terry. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, I want to look at this number again. One quarter of us say we are putting off plans to tackle debt. Why do so many of us not want to deal with our debt, especially right now? It can be very discouraging to look and engage with your finances when you're dealing with a mountain of debt. It's it's the last thing that you probably want to do. But if you kind of shift that a little bit and think about how much money it might be costing you to put it off, you might get that incentive or motivation to be able to start coming up with a strategy sooner than later. Oh, we need the sooner rather than later part for sure. Definitely. You know, this uh, new wallet, uh, nerd wallet survey shows one in five actually say, yeah, I'm going to put off some debt planning. Gosh, what do you think that says about us? I mean, I think it says that, you know, some people are struggling at this time, but I think the key thing is to think about this in this way. If you are in that boat, you're not alone in that boat. Clearly there are other people in there as well. And what you can do is start looking for opportunities or strategies to tackle this now. Do your research now and think about it this way. If you start now prior to the holidays and come up with a get out of debt strategy before you're spending on presents or different other responsibilities that you might have during the holidays, then you can spend mindfully around the holidays. You can tackle that with debt in mind as a priority, as opposed to maybe putting it off and starting the new year with an even greater mountain of debt that's going to take even longer to pay off. And I know, you know, the Christmas ads, the holiday ads, it, it's out there. It, and in some stores, the items are out. So the holidays are starting to be quickly front of mind for many people. So that's that's a great way to think about it. I know there are also three solid steps that you can take to really kind of start tackling your debt situation right now. And, and the first one seems like it's the hardest one, forgiving yourself, but then moving forward and making a plan. Why is this the most important one as well? I think the hardest part about forgiving yourself is that there's so much shame sometimes tied to debt. But if you think about the way that debt might come about, for example, and kind of give yourself some grace. For instance, you maybe weren't taught personal finances in school. You're figuring this out as you go and you're navigating different life events. You're also maybe being bombarded with different personalized ads for things that you might actually even need. Uh, there are just so many things buying for your wallet these days. So give yourself some grace in the process. And also with the fact that that goods and services are costing more and more these days. Mm -hmm. So when you factor all of these things, it, it makes sense that some people like yourself might find yourself in debt. And you can give yourself some grace over that because you're going to be proactive and come up with a strategy to pay it down. Okay. So there's the action. Say you're sorry to yourself and yeah. then just get going on a plan. Uh, sooner rather than later, I'm assuming too, is the best way to do this. Definitely sooner than later before yeah. any unforeseen expenses come about, before any special occasions or holidays. Yes. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, what about uh, the second one? Make some moves to try to maybe free up some money that, I don't know, maybe you can use it to pay some debt. Maybe you didn't even think about it in the past. What does that mean? The best place to start is by looking through your debit and credit card statements for the purchases that you're making. You want to know where your money is going right now. And you might be surprised to find free trials that have expired that maybe you're being charged for now, or maybe streaming subscription services that maybe went up in price that you weren't aware of. Uh -huh. So when you look and come through all those different details, you can come up with different ways to potentially 
free up some money in your budget, maybe using that streaming subscription and transferring it to another service and saving $40 instead of uh, maybe paying like $50, you can get one that maybe costs $5. That's what I did recently. I switched to a different subscription service and I'm saving maybe $45 a month for instance. A month. I mean, that really adds up to just those, you, you hate to call them little things, but they can end up being some pretty big things. They definitely can. All of that adds up. And then you also want to look at other options. If you've already exhausted everything that you can move in your budget, then you want to maybe consider a side job or perhaps getting a roommate or another way to free up some money. Okay. All right. Great advice there. There's one more kind of a, a solid tip. And I think maybe sometimes we forget this one, or maybe we're afraid to make that call, but you're talking about lowering your interest rates. Again, how is the best way to make this happen? What is the best way? Well, there are different options to lower your interest interest rates, and you can look into maybe a balance transfer credit card if you have good credit, or a personal loan that offers a lower interest rate than the one you're paying now, or a debt management plan at a credit counseling agency mm -hmm. that's not for profit that can potentially lower your interest rates and consolidate all your payments into a single one. Wow, those are some pretty good ideas. Um, a lot of people lately have been talking about home equity uh, lines of credit to help pay debt. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, I, I think that there are other options that you can exhaust before even going that route uh, prior to paying off credit card debt, for example, or any other debt. Uh, I think that you can consult a credit professional at a credit counseling agency that's not for profit, and they can review your finances for things that maybe you didn't think to consider. They can find that wiggle room, they can find maybe ways to free up money, and they can also lower your interest rates if you qualify for that debt management plan. And that could happen within maybe three to five years that you're paying that down and you could see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, the light looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> and you know what? If you don't qualify for a debt management plan, they might be able to alert you or at least point you in the right direction of other options. This way you're not going at it alone and you're getting all the information that you have uh, available to make an educated decision. That's terrific. And sometimes that's the hardest part, talking about it, but then also feeling like you're alone in your struggle with your debt. So that's some terrific advice, Melissa. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So what would you say for all of this in dealing with your debt? What's the bottom line? What, would, what should we all be thinking about right now? The bottom line when dealing with debt is if you've already tried to tackle this on your own and haven't made much progress, don't be afraid to seek out the help from a professional at a nonprofit credit counseling agency. They can review your finances and offer a fresh perspective and maybe even point you to other options if you don't qualify for any with them. Yeah, that is awesome. Melissa Lambarina, thank you so much for joining us to talk about uh, this thing that, you know, is hitting many of us right now, debt. So don't be afraid of it. Go after it, right? That's right. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Melissa, again, is a credit card expert for Nerd Wallet, And I'm Terry Barr from Lee Enterprises with your new Pennywise podcast. Always great to have you along with us. And we'll talk with you again next week.